today we are going to be, well, completing a lot of the blue check marks, or well, the ones we can find at the very least within Mondstadt. Not only are they worth Primo Gems, but uh, they're worth reputation, and uh, I know they're probably fun too. Not to mention we have several that we actually just straight up need to turn in that we've already done. Let's stop following Huffman in, uh, around now and uh, see what his is. Hey Huffman. There's still so much cleaning up to do. What's the matter? Uh, regarding what? From Storm Chair? As I'm sure you're aware, we're faced con we faced continuous attacks from bands of monsters for the entire duration of the Storm Tear incident. Right. Although the Storm Tear incident is now resolved, and we've successfully fended off the monsters, the monsters erected quite a substantial number of barricades outside the city over the course of their raids. I don't feel like I've seen that many. No more than usual. Then again, no more than usual. I mean, usual for us is... You know, right in the middle of the Storm Terror incident, I suppose. So while the monsters themselves have fought back, these barricades are about to disappear disappear of their own accord. Aren't about to disappear of their own accord. I was about to say, if they're going to disappear of their own accord, that's fantastic. Nope, so you need me to go kill them? Well, break them. We can't just leave them here in indefinitely, especially now that things are returning to business as usual in the city. Unfortunately, the knights are short-staffed and there's simply no one, up, uh, no one to take up the task. As our honor honorary knight, would you be willing to clear up the barricades? Sure, it's my honor to serve. Spoken like a true member of the Knights of Favonius, honorary knight, you have my gratitude. It's no problem. Alright. Now... Where are these barricades of yours? I don't see them. Well, let's go talk to Flora too. I've been seeing this check mark for literal months and I've been wanting to do it. All right, Flora, what can I help you with? Would you like to buy some flowers? I'm afraid you've come at a bad time. Why, what's the matter? A lot of the flowers in my shop are blown away by that huge wind from before. Well, that sucks, but I, I mean, I see a bunch here. Not only were the flowers on display outside blown away, but so were some that I had left near the storefront. Wait, is there an actual store besides this stall? Is that building back there your uh, store? I still have a fair bit of stock, but the flowers put on display are the prettiest ones. A lot of customers are attracted by them. Yeah, they're pretty pretty. I like those blue ones over there. No purple ones. I don't know why, it's just purple is such a good flower color. Violets. Now, these flowers- or lavender. Lavenders. Now, these flowers have been blown away, and I still need to clean up the store, so I won't be able to find time to pick new ones. Want me to get some flowers for you? A traveler, if you're willing, could you help me pick some fresh flowers? I won't promise they're fresh, but I have a lot of flowers. Leave it to me. Great! Still, you might need to pick a f quite a few. Let me see. First, please help me pick one sweet flower and one small lampgrass from the Whispering Woods. Oh, that is a lot of flowers, Flora. I don't know if I can manage. <laughs> but hey, you pay me in Primo Gems, I will get you whatever you want. Then go to Windrise and get me one wind wheel, a a wind wheel Aster. Finally, do they have to be from these locations? Help me pick a Cecilia from Star Snatch Cri uh, Cliff. Please, come back as soon as possible once you have them. If they wilt, they can't be displayed at the storefront. I think we might have them all. Yeah, we have them all. Good. I was going to say, if we have to go back there just to get those, even though we have all of those, that would have been a little sad. Welcome to Flora Whisper. Do you need anything? I have your flowers. Did you finish getting them? Got them right here. These are all so fresh, thank you. With these flowers out at the storefront, we're sure to attract a lot of customers. The Cecilia's, I bet, will be your, uh... Actually, no, maybe the wind wheels. Since they're, you know, Mondstadt-themed. 
won't be your best sellers. If I could make another small request, the wind also blew away all the dandelions we had away. Uh-oh. Although dandelions being carried away by the wind isn't a bad thing. I mean, it is if you're trying to sell them. But it still seems strange for Florist and Mondstadt to not have dandelions. You know, dandelions are usually considered weeds. Just saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, that sounds like a problem, though. All those dandelions being blown away. It's a lot of messages being carried to nowhere. The dandelion hotline and all. Dandelions can just can't just be plucked and brought back. They have to be regrown from scratch. I mean, there's like three or four of them right outside of the gates. So could you help fetch a bunch of dandelion seeds for me? All right, sure. Why not? Where should I start looking? There are lots of dandelions outside the city. You should be able to get them easily. Can't you give me a better price? No, no, we can't give you a better price. <laughs> um, welcome to Flora Whispers. Yes, I have those dandelions. Have you managed to get the dandelions? I have them. Thank you. This should be enough. I'll sow the seeds into these pots. <laughs> and once you have them in your pots, uh, you can harvest your own seeds. Get exponentially more dandelions over time. Along with, these fla with those flowers that you found me earlier... Ah, oh, yes. I have to thank you, don't I? This is a little token. Please take it. Now I have to quickly put these flowers inside these pots here. Then the dandelion seeds go there. Did the... Aw, oh, they actually filled up. That's cool. And we're done. Hehe. <laughs> Doesn't this look like a proper florist now? Would, would you be mad if I took those? They're just... They're sparkling and they're begging me to take them. Oh, right. The dandelion seeds have only just been sown. So there's nothing in the pot. I guess I'll have to take them off display for the time being. Uh, I really hope they grow up soon. It probably will. Just give them lots of water. Oh, I can touch them. That's <laughs> a little weird. Hey, those flowers are for display only. If you want to buy flowers, come over look over here. <laughs> I'll touch the lamp grass. Yeah, same thing. What flowers do you have for sale? That is a very grown-up voice for someone so short. I think you guys said she's actually an adult. <laughs> Let's see. Certainly, we have a fine selection. Whether you're looking to give a bouquet to someone or even do some gardening yourself. Oh yeah. I don't need any of these, but cool. Actually, the sweet flowers are nice. But I get those from, you know, the, uh, whatchamacallits, the expeditions. And Swan, what can I do for you? Hey, honorary knight. Wait up a moment. Who, me? Yes, you. Haha, <laughs> but who, uh, but who but you would, but, yeah, who but you would be Monset's famous honorary knight? I don't know. I'm not from here. That said, you haven't gotten a copy of the Knights of Favonius handbook yet, have you? It contains the vast majority of the principles that knights should follow, as well as some knowledge for common use. No, but I've heard I think Amber mentioned that before. As an honorary knight, you should at least be familiar with some of this. If I'm going to have to go through your handbook, you better pay me as a full knight. I, requis I requisitioned a copy from the knights just for you. Please, give it a read. Well, that was nice of you, though. Once you're done, I'll quiz you a little. This will involve some content recorded in the handbook, as well as some common sense questions. Depending on how you answer... I'll, I'll also be giving you a small gift. All right, let's read your book. This handbook is a guide on the, this is up. Oh my god. Well, strap in. 
<laughs> this handbook is a guide on the core principles of the Knights of Favonius. Knights should carefully read the content of this handbook and strictly hold themselves to the standards detailed within in their life and work, serving the people of Monsat as a model Knight of Favonius. Very well. As I better get primo gems from you, Swan. As members of the Knights of Favonius, it is incumbent upon us to be the very embodiment of the three virtues of knighthood, modesty, honesty, and self-control. These are the three pillars of, of Mondstadt's freedom. It's funny, self-control almost sounds like the opposite of freedom. I mean, it's good, but still. Remember, freedom cannot exist without the support of duty. The direct embodiment of these values comes, of course, in one's everyday speech and actions, Hence, this handbook outlines behavioral standards and language usage prescript prescriptions that are intended to cover all potential scenarios that you may encounter in the course of duty. And with that preamble finished, let's begin. Section 1. A knight must exercise vigilance at all times and must never treat any potential threat to Mondstadt lightly. Well, no duh. When it comes to your attention for that a citizen of Mondstadt is in need, you must come to their aid promptly and willingly, for it is the fundamental duty of the Knights of Favonius to be of service to the people of Mondstadt. Straightforward. Section 2. When greeting a traveling merchant from a distant land, pay attention to express proper respect and courtesy. Do not exhibit suspicion or hostility towards them, no matter how suspicious they may seem. <laughs> Amber, clearly you didn't read this. I remember you being quite suspicious of me the very first time I met you. I mean, it was very brief, but still. Approved language. language. Welcome to Mondstadt, strange yet respectable travelers, wayfarers, guests. <laughs> strange yet respectful. I mean, maybe I guess we kind of are. Please state your identity and intended destination. The Knights of Phonius are here to ensure your safety. Select the appropriate term of address accordingly. How do you determine which one of these is correct? How do they know I'm a traveler and not a wayfarer? Well. Prohibited language. Hey, you! Stop right there! Stop right there, criminal scum! State your identity, you ra you rascals, hooligans, ruffians, outlanders, trespassers. <laughs> Welcome to the city of Windenid I Windenidals. Um, otherworldly. <laughs> Welcome to the city of wind. Otherworldly travelers, vagrant animals, burgeoning storms. <laughs> No, refrain from using vulgar or coarse language. It is especially important never to address the guest using pejorative nomenclature, for this is certain to make them feel most unwelcome indeed. Why would you be saying this to a vagrant animal? Are you saying you're going to call someone a vagrant animal? And to be fair to anyone else, I mean, we technically are an otherworldly traveler. Section 3. Never meet members of the public with an attitude of nonchalance or apathy. A responsible knight must always be ready to offer up both sword and sweet. Sweat. Sword and sweat. <laughs> For the people's sake. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool if they were offering up sweets. Accordingly, during periods of rest, recreation, or relative inactivity, you must maintain a knightly disposition and be ready to fully re-engage in, in work matters at a moment's notice. Approved language, using to oneself while on break. I shall check for any previously undiscovered safety issues in Mondstadt, for I, as a knight, have a duty to safeguard Mondstadt at all times. Oh. Conversing with city folks at the tavern. As a knight, I am expected to gain an understanding of people's day-to-day -day, day -day needs and concerns. This knowledge is also indispensable to me in the performance of my duties. <laughs> I think if people were said this out loud, onlookers would think they're a little crazy. Note, even when there is no work to be done whatsoever, it is not permissible to take a gratuitous amount of downtime at your own discretion. Prohibited language. On active guard duty. Imagine having a lifetime supply of cider. <laughs> 
What's wrong with that? While taking a break. Noelle, have you got a minute? <laughs> That's right, because she was a maid for the uh, Knights of Favonius. Working on becoming one. Note, the acting Grand Master has instructed Noelle to immediately report any work-shy knights who attempt to delegate their existing duties to her. Very good. Don't abuse her position. It should, be, it should go without saying that this behavior is entirely unacceptable. Penalties for violations will take the form of reduced vacation allowance and or salary deductions. The next time that you consider shirking your duties, you are strongly advised to consider whether the consequences are worth it. Good advice. Section 4 While the Knights of Favonius respect the important place of wine in Mondstadt's cultural heritage, uh-oh, I don't like where this is going, it is nevertheless expected that knights will exercise due self-control with regard to their alcohol intake. It is not permitted to be drunk while on duty, and it is strictly forbidden to encourage or facilitate the consumption of alcohol by minors. Alright, that's fine. I thought they were going to say, uh, don't drink any wine, ever. Note that Knights of Avonius who are not of legal drinking age are forbidden from consuming alcohol. Accordingly, minors must always be accompanied by an adult co-worker when entering taverns and other premises where alcohol is served. So you can be a knight. You're old enough to be a knight, but not old enough to drink. Hmm, some things never change. Section 5. Newly added. Owing to a recent increase in Fatui activity in the city, knights are reminded that it is forbidden to disclose details of any matters concerning Knights of Phonius, Operations and strategic deployment to any persons from outside the organization while not on active duty. I mean, you shouldn't be disclosing this stuff while on active duty either. Unless you're actively ordered to. Section 6. In the event of a major Mondstadt-wide emergency, Knights of Favonius are expected to lead by example and act to safeguard human lives and property. In times of crisis, when people come to you with questions, it is important to answer them clearly and calmly, and to remind them to prioritize their personal safety at all times. No more, more approved language. 1. Please do not worry. The Knights of Avonius will do their utmost to protect Mondstadt. 2. When danger is imminent, please do not panic. Cover your head with both hands and crouch down to better protect yourself. Then, follow the instructions given to you by the Knights of Avonius crew, who will lead you to safety in a swift and orderly fashion. Um, why are they crouching, though? I mean, I think that depends on the type of danger. And newly added, please rest assured that even though the Grand Master of Arca is not currently in Mondstadt, the Knights of Favonius are quite well equipped to deal with a crisis in a swift and elegant manner, only applicable during the Grand Master's absence. Very true, very true. Prohibited. Uh-oh, we've never had to deal with a situation like this before. <laughs> yes, let's just cause panic. Two, even the Knights are, even the knights are powerless in the face of a crisis of this magnitude. <laughs> Jeez. Note. Even in extreme cases where the crisis is indeed of a kind that has not been seen before, it is imperative that you do not appear over overwhelmed in front of members of the public, that you do not do or say anything to call into question the capabilities of the Knights of Favonius. Clearly, um, it's a good thing Diluc is no longer a knight because he would be breaking this very badly. Section 7 well, we're halfway done. When greeting travelers from afar, please act hospitably by informing them of the locations of essential businesses and services, recommending popular tourist destinations, and giving any further assistance that may they may request or require. If it's your first time here, if it's your first time here, I recommend visiting the Mondstadt Cathedral. I think I've actually heard that one before. Or if you're tired, go have some of Mondstadt's famous wine at a tavern called Angel's Share. You might have heard that one, too. Section 8. Nothing prohibited. Aw. 
Remember to espouse the virtues of modesty and honesty also in your interactions with coworkers and companions. That is to say, by self-effacing in conversation with comrades and but in and be open and truthful with them. Mhm, sure, why not? Nurturing and maintaining a sense of camaraderie and solidarity between all our knights is our first line of defense against the enemy. Yeah, that's actually uh important. Prevent uh turncoats and uh well, it might not prevent a mole, but at least not when it's planted, but it'll help you prevent traitors. Prude language. That was wonderful. I've never had a battle experience like that before. Note, avoid exaggerating your speech to the point where you become overbearing. Your words and tone should simply express a sufficient degree of respect and cordiality towards your fellow knights. Yeah, if some... Uh, I imagine if you actually said this, they would, uh... Well, I was gonna say they would know that you're just reciting the handbook, but... Let's be honest, how many of them have actually read this whole thing? Section 9. As guardians of Mondstadt serving as the shield of the animal archon, the Knights of Avonius must set an example for others to follow. Under no circumstances should any knight ever violate the rules and rep regulations of Mondstadt. If any knight is found to have damaged public property, or the private property of a citizen of Mondstadt, while not on duty, Following a damage assessment, an amount of quit, uh, so much time, so many words, my mouth, uh, my mouth is getting tied up. An amount equivalent to the damages caused shall be deducted from the salary and or bonus of the knight in question. Knights who are minors at the time of the violation, and who therefore do not receive a formal salary, will be penalized with solitary confinement in lieu of, fi lieu of fine. <laughs> so you're not going to find the minor. You're going to put them in solitary confinement. I'd rather take the fine. With the period of incarceration to be determined based on the severity of the violation. The fish note that the fish and other aquatic life found in Mondstadt's lakes and rivers are classed as public property and as such must not be destroyed under any circumstances. <laughs> really? Uh... What does this mean about the, uh, well, the ducks that I butchered? I'm very happy Timmy didn't report me to the knights. Wait, no. Never mind, since I'm not a knight, this one only, this section only applies to them. I am an honorary knight. Section 10. Knights of Avonia should always remain vigilant and exercise due caution when dealing with strangers. I mean, that kind of contradicts one of the earlier sections, doesn't it? Well, I guess as long as you're not outwardly suspicious. Even when dealing with non-hostiles, a knight should clarify to the stranger their rights and responsibilities as an outsider, explaining the rules and customs of Mondstadt in a firm but fair manner. Amendment 1. Extra scrutiny is required when dealing with visiting diplomats from other nations whose activity gives cause for concern. Cough, the Fatui, cough. Section 11. In the interests of preventing incidents involving wind glider users, Knights of Avonia should also pay close attention to aerial activity in the region. Yeah. They, uh, got on my back about that. Knights are required to perform spot checks on users of wind gliders and ensure that the details therein are current and valid i.e. that they have a license. Should you observe any illegal aerial activity within the city, you should, st you should shout to the offender at the top of your voice, imploring them to cease gliding immediately. Should they persist, you should take such further action as, if, as is necessary to de-escalate the situation. Note, even if the airborne offender is an off-duty member of the Knights of Avonius, this is no cause for leniency. You have full authority to revoke the offending party's gliding license, should you deem this to be the appropriate course of action? Wait. Well, what are you yelling at them for if they have a license? <laughs> what is illegal aerial activity? Outside of, you know, 
unlicensed flying. Appendix Terminology Notes Knightly Virtues refers to the three core virtues of modesty, self-honesty, and self-control. The three are mutually reinforcing and treated as a collective. Knights must conduct themselves in accordance with these virtues at all times. Terms of Address Refer to the various honorifics used to address members of the public, including visitors of, to Mondstadt. As public servants to the free people of Mondstadt and hosts to others from beyond our borders, we are expected to use the appropriate terms of address in all encounters as an act of courtesy. An education and etiquette is mandatory for all serving knights. Duty. Duty. First to our responsibilities to serve the people of Mondstadt and protect the freedoms of freedom of Mondstadt. Officially appointed Knights of Favonius should refrain from talking flippantly or irreverently about their responsibilities or their honor as a knight in their day-to-day -day lives, so as to preserve the dignity of our organization's reputation. Also probably shouldn't have made uh, Eula go around acting like an ass. Sorry, Eula. The Animal Archon, new. The Animal Archon Barbados is the god of wind and song. Of course, of song as well. Me as a bard, the grantor and guardian of Mondstadt's freedom, and the one in whom the one in whom the people of this land place their faith. As an organization, the Knights of Favonius he heeds the will of the Animo Archon. This means that we must be prepared to go to war in the event that Mondstadt's freedom comes under threat. Note: Need to add additional material on this term. Several members of the Knights of Avonius and even the Church seem not to, not to have any belief in the Animal Archon at all. <laughs> it's kind of funny since he literally walks among you. <laughs> the Fatu, I guess he does try to remain secret. Though the other Archons I don't think are as secretive, right? The Fatui. Diplomats and other agents in Shneznaya stationed here in Mondstadt. They are afforded diplomatic immunity within our borders. Their activities are shrouded in mystery and deceit, and their intentions are obscure. Warning. Always be wary around members of the Fatui. If you observe any suspicious activity, report it to the headquarters immediately while taking care to prioritize your personal safety. Very smart. They are very dangerous. The Abyss Order. An ancient, mysterious group of enemies from the Abyss. No one knows how they came to be or what they seek. Occasionally, they can be spotted causing trouble near Mondstadt. Warning, members of the Abyss Order are highly dangerous enemies. If you encounter one, exercise extreme caution and report it, its location and activity to headquarters as soon as possible. Storm Terror's Lair, new. Refers to the ruins that lie to the northwest of Mondstadt. Legend holds this area was once a city where a tyrant ruled from his tower. Huh. I wonder who. It did look like a city. It has since been occupied by Devalin, who shelters himself there. For this reason, these ruins are now named Storm Terror's Lair. Yeah, it also seemed like there were roads going in there. Okay. Swan. Ready? I better be. I'm ready. I need to swat up a little more. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, let's begin. Now, please listen to my question. Ns. To the northwest of Mondstadt are some ruins. Legend holds that this is what... <laughs> we literally just read that. My question is this. What is the official name now given to these ruins by the Knights of Favonius? <laughs> Devalin's Den? Stormy Terry's Tower? <laughs> yes, oh... Oh, how I want to select that. But no, Storm Terror's Lair. Correct. The ruins are indeed called Storm Terror's Lair. Next question. According to Knightly Etiquette, what is the proper form of address to use when speaking to unknown individuals encountered within Mondstadt's borders? <laughs> Sneaky little bard's turd. <laughs> what the? <laughs> That's what Paimon calls venti. Burgeoning storm was explicitly not allowed. Strange yet respectable traveler. Correct. Strange yet respectable traveler. 
or indeed travelers, is the correct way to address those we meet who meet here who hail from lands beyond, or wayfarers, or guests. Now for my last question. As I'm sure you are completely aware, the affairs of the Knights of Avonius within the wall within the city walls are currently under the management of Miss Jean. My question is, what is Miss Jean's official title? Acting Grand Master, of course. <laughs> oh my god. Dandelion tights. Well let's uh not get slapped by Jean. <laughs> Acting Grandmaster. Precisely. Jean's role is that of Acting Grandmaster. Alright, that was all from me. Let me see. Wow, the knights are so strict. You got them all correct. As, ex as expected of our honorary knight, such questions were no problem for you at all. To be honest, there are some locals who can't answer some of these questions. I mean, I don't blame them. Please, take this as a gift. Primo gems, primo gems, damn it. Really? Hash browns for all of that, Swan? Really? Wind go with you. I won't forget this. Vengeance will be mine. Now. All right, we need to report back to Joel. Let's go some birds while we're at it. How many did we get? One? Damn it. Oh, two. There's the barricades. Shutter. He wasn't kidding. Look at all this junk. Worst thing in the world for foot traffic. There we go. Oh, no items. Beg for mercy. Wonderful. Wait, there's more? Oh, shoot. I'm just glad I don't have to say much right now. My voice needs a rest after all that reading. I'm glad it was at least humorous, though. <laughs> that was, uh... There was some fun stuff in there. Barricade? No, not yet. Uh. What else do they have? Sensetios. I'm always short on Sensetios. Despite their trees being everywhere. Does this count? Oh, yeah. I guess it does. Wait, something else? Oh, yeah, here it is. There we go. And another one. I see it down there. Oh, towers. There's so many. How long were they planning this for? It's raining right now. It's my job a little easier. As you wish me. Crush. Beg for mercy. 
Crush. Huh? Alrighty, our work is done. Let's go speak to Huffman again. Let's just teleport back to him. More speed. Hey, Huffman. On patrol. Got your barricades. How's your progress? Finished clearing the area yet? All done. Fantastic. You've been an enormous help. Who knows how much longer those ugly things would have been would have stood been, would have been stood there otherwise. Honorary knight, please accept these as an expression of my gratitude. An adventure experience and a guide to ballad. No other uh, check marks here. Let's check with you. I know you have a list of some of them. Can I mark them? Ooh. Flighty flora and flora. <laughs> Flighty flora and flora. I love that. Um, question and answer. In the aftermath. Wonderful. Oh, there's a bunch of them. No, it doesn't look like I can... Uh, find them that way. I have an idea of where some of them are, though. You know, we should make that diagram while we're here. While we're doing this. Oh, and talk to the fisher. More Actually, we'll, we'll wait till day. In the meantime, we'll go make our thingy. Wait, what? You have jewels? Wait, what? Why won't anything sell? What do you sell here? Take a look and you'll see. Top quality goods at low, low prices. All direct from Leeway. Oh. I don't need that, but cool. Man, my funds are low. 600,000. There we go. To make that, we need lizard tails for some reason, chaos circuits, and electro crystals. A lot of them. Why the lizard tails? Ugh. I want to make what I'm going to eat. Eat out of a out of lizard tails. I'm gonna check for any other blue check marks down in Mondstadt really quick. Oh yeah, see, there's one over there already. At daytime. Ah, oh, Cyrus, how you doing? Hmm. Hmm. It's high time we took care of these these crooks. What's going on? When the storm from before had just appeared, the Knights and the Adventurers Guild sprang into action. Oh yes, yes you did. But as we were busy with evacuation and rescue work, it seems as though some treasure hoarders managed to sneak in amid the chaos. I, these thieves took advantage of that moment when we were stretched thin and managed to steal quite a few things throughout the city. Uh oh. Carrots from the Dawn Winery. Why? Philonemo mushrooms from Springvale, a stack of silverware from the Goth Grand Hotel. Well, finally one that's actually, you know, worth something. Hmph. They've even stolen some of the food stocked in the Good Hunter's larder. These treasure hunters are very strange. If it's not nailed down, these bandits will take it. Why, if this storm hadn't subsided so quickly, I doubt there'd be anything left in the monster to steal. We've got enough hands on deck again, but looking for those things may prove very difficult. The speed at which they flee with their loot is only surpassed by their ability to fence it. Still, we must make them pay. Honorary Knight, if you're willing, would you like to have a little chat with these tr those treasure hoarders? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Good. A fine answer, worthy of your title. Then I shall leave this matter to you. 
We have caught the trail of a group of treasure hoarders around the city. I will mark it down on your map. But they are a wily bunch. It would take some, uh, it would take you some effort to completely clear their camps out. But for an honorary knight like you, it should be a simple matter. Hey, no problem. What? Did I catch him already? No, no, never mind. Oh, right. This guy, he had a strange marking I wanted to ask, talk to him about. Oh, you have the, you're the guy who they stole the, the silverware from. The Goth Grand Hotel. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, uh, I mean, hey there, friend. Sorry, I was in work mode. Please excuse my bad manners. Furnishings? Ooh. So, you know a thing or two about furnishings? I was originally planning to renovate the hotel, but then the Fatui booked the pla whole place out. Now, I no longer have any need for these blueprints. Take a look. Maybe you'll find one you like. Sure. That means I can uh, finally get some of those... Uh, Battle pass points. What's the point of an adventurer camp? And is it worth 50,000? I don't have enough money where I actually want to buy all these. Ooh, a lightning protective tent. Well, let's just make a road sign. It's cheap. Oh, we have a bunch of reliquaries, too. Right, I almost forgot about those. We have a lot of them. There we go. Oh, and we have uh, some recipes. Wait, where's... A thank you letter, a crumpled note featuring hastily written characters. Alright, well... Hi, puppy! I guess I can't make them right now or something. Probably need a... I mean, we have furnishings, so I've always assumed you like, could like buy a home or something, but... More Wasn't speed. there a... Um... Is that all the check marks in here? I feel like there was one up here. The exclamation marks. Why am I saying check marks? Mm, no, not in here. Oh, maybe there was one. Oh, yeah, there is one. Aramis? How did it get blown up that high? What happened? Oh, it's you, Honor Knight. How do you do? So, it's like this. You must have seen that storm that surrounded the entire city, right? Yeah. Although the storm has subsided, the effects of that storm aren't going to be fixed anytime soon. Not a few merchants have... Uh, not a few merchants have said that the signboards and posters they put up, up, put up outside have all gone with the wind. Some have ended up on rooftops, others onto the city walls. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of those, I think, when just flying around. The knights originally intended to send two agile members to settle these issues with haste. Should send Amber. I mean, besides helping the citizens, we're also concerned with those things, uh, how those... Th that those things would look rather unbecoming, hanging off the roofs and walls of the, uh, like that. But as it turns out, we're shorthanded at the moment, so only I was sent. And with these knees of mine, even climbing stairs has become problematic. I can't imagine what would become of me if I tried to cl if I had to climb up that high. Could you help me out with the out of the spine, honorary knight? I'm sure, but I hope you give me primo gems or at least not hash browns. Thank you. I'm so sorry. This should have been my job, but... 
There should be three posters and one signboard now stuck on rooftops on the city walls. Please, bring those posters to me. As for the signboard, you can't, you can just leave it here on the ground. I'll have my colleagues pass it on to the appropriate merchant. Thank you again. You've really saved me. Of course. But also, I'm pretty sure, uh, there was something in here. Oh, a Fatui quest. Victor, we meet again, traveler. If you have the time, do you mind doing me a favor? The, remun the remuneration will not disappoint. How are you slots still in Mondstadt? Oh, I don't recall doing anything that might warrant overstaying my welcome. I mean... You guys have been caught in a lot of situations at this point. Maybe not you personally, but your group. Ah, oh, you mean those fellows living up at the Goth Grand Hotel? I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid. Not my jurisdiction. Well, whatever. Let's get to the chase. You Monset folk do lo so love to natter on and drag your feet. Hey, screw you. Also, I'm not really Mondstadt. I'm a traveler. Do you remember our previous deal? You help me, and I let you in on some things you'd like to hear. Oh, you mean the, uh... The Daily Commission? Same deal this time. You set me up with some of Mondstadt's local specialties, and I'll spin you a little yarn. How does that sound? What source of yarn? Haha, <laughs> well, give me the goods and you'll get your story. You won't lose out. What if I want real yarn? Not like a story, but actual yarn. There are a lot of cats around I'd love to play with. Worry not, we Fatui always deliver. Alright, alright. Just do it for me, and quickly. I'll be waiting for you inside the cathedral. Huh. <sighs> really now? What a, what, what, what a way to make a heist out of a milk run. Well, what do you want? Are you really helping this guy out again? I mean, we're doing this to gather information, but even so. And these cheeky guys are still in Mondstadt, too. The Knights of Vony should do something. I won't order just yet. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's a little. Oh, I love her little hat. Daddy, what's mommy doing? Mommy's a sister. She believes in Barbados, and she helps and guides all the other people who believe in Barbados, too. Daddy, who's Papa Toes? Is he a magic man? <laughs> Barbados is Papa Toes. And yes, he kind of is a magic man. <laughs> Barbados is the god of wind. He's a very magical man. The reason why Mommy and Daddy and Lily have such a happy life is because Lord Barbados is a very nice man and looks after us. He is a pretty nice guy. But Daddy, why is that man over there saying nasty things about Papa Toes? <laughs> Adorable. Little boys and girls aren't allowed to listen to what the Fatui men say. All right, dear? <laughs> Run along. This isn't a conversation for children. That was adorable. Papa Toes. Hmm, we might even get Papa Toes in our party uh, soon. Probably not, but you never know. More speed. Uh huh. Pine tag, Nora. He's just never going to leave me alone until I go to that bar. Now it's just sort of out of spite that I'm not doing it. More speed. Oh. Oh no. I know they're up high. Yeah, here was one. I remember seeing that. I was always wondering what these were doing up here. It's like, no one's gonna see them. I don't 
think there were any up here, but it'd be good to get to other places. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, radiant spin crystal. Huh. I don't see it. It's just a filamental mushroom. Time to scout. There might have been one up here. No. I know there was like one on the battlements. Oh, a chest. Even though uh, at least good luck doesn't discriminate by clan. It's not often I find uh, chests these days in Mondstadt. Yeah, there it is. Oh. What? Why did you take us back down here? Don't... Don't just remove us. Oh, hey, more of the uh, spin discs. Yep. Who drinks it? Cattails. Yeah, I've never seen Diona around here, but supposedly she is. I spy another chest while I'm here. I swear these weren't here before. <laughs> At least good luck doesn't discriminate by clan. <laughs> ah, there you are. Finally. Wonderful. Time to scout. You're a beacon of light, Aramis. Or were a beacon. Have you gotten all of them? Yes, sir. You have my utmost thanks. I'll take these posters and return them to the matching merchants in a moment. As for the signboard, it's from the angel share. I've already notified Charles. He'll send someone over to take it back. Here's a little remun remuneration for your help. Please take it. As for me, I need to move on to other tasks. Though the storm has ceased, its effects still remain with us for a while. There's no trouble. It was a little trouble. Smoked chicken, that's even worse than the hash browns. Ooh, I'll take the harrow's wit, though. I was really hoping some of these would have more Prima gems. Several of them do. Hey, Arthur. Is that Excalibur? What are you doing coming over here? I don't need your help. Uh, what is it you're doing anyway? I'm trying to pull this sword out. Don't you get any ideas? I found it first. If only I could pull it out, then... Hmm. Okay, so I don't know what would actually happen, but it'd definitely be something big. Well, it's not in a stone. 
Um, if I remember my Arthurian legend right, let's see, the Excalibur was originally bestowed by the Lady of the Lake, and wasn't it Merlin who put it in the stone? Look at the rust, the angle of entry into the ground. It's perfect. It's got to be a lost sword from some legend or another. I'm sure of it. I'm sure. You keep working on it, working on it, Arthur. Armed with this sword, I... I'd probably be allowed to go on adventurers with Mommy and Daddy. And I could join the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> Love your sun hat. I was on my way to, uh... No chests over there, are there? To, um... Talk to the fisher. Who are you? Ofer? What do you want? You here to jeer and ridicule me too? No. Well, I haven't said anything yet. Well, what is it then? I highly doubt you're here to help me build my boat. Actually, I was in the market for a boat. Well, I know someone who is. Anyway, whatever it is, I'm not in the mood for it now. <sighs> alright, alright. Nantuck. A great black whale in the open seas. Yes, this will surely be a bestseller. What do you mean by a giant black whale? Shh, softer, please. This is my magnum opus in progress we're talking about here. Well, since you seem interested, allow me to give you a sneak peek. Imagine this. An epic tale on the high seas. The heroic fisherman pursuing a giant black whale. This will be a bestseller for sure. Hmm, maybe you should make it a giant white whale. Name it, uh... Hmm, that's a good alternative name for Moby Dick. Hmm, nothing's coming to mind. But don't you breathe a word to this to anyone, you hear? Such glorious inspiration cannot be reclaimed, should they be lost to someone else. Teach me to fish, damn it! Who are you? My name is Nantuck. One of the people in charge of the Mondstadt Fishing Association. Huh. From the looks of you, you appear to have recognized me from my other role. Ah, so this is the frightening power of fame, eh? <laughs> oh, yes. I definitely recognized you. Well, then, there's no point pretending. That's right. The famed sea life, off <laughs> sea life author Nantuck. That's me. Eh? You've never read anything I've ever written? Well, that's because I haven't published anything yet. But fret not. A great work by yours truly will soon sweep across the literary markets. That much I can guarantee. And if you'd like, I'd happily be to put you first in line when my first signing session comes up. Teach me to fish, asshole. I'll be back. Hello, Sarah. I need some specialties. One set specialties? What can I say? Every last one of our dishes is unique to Mondstadt. However, most of them have a short, sh short, sh short shelf life, and by are by no means convenient items to bring on a long trip. We can of course cook them differently to make them more suitable for travel and storage, but it comes at a significant compromise in taste and quality. It doesn't bother me. All right then, if you insist. But if this is intended as a gift. I advise you to cook a fresh batch of whatever you choose. Everything here has been sat out for, for, uh, for a while. Might I ask where your friend is from? Perhaps I can make a recommendation. Schneznaya. Wow, that's a long way from here. I need to be careful with my choice of ingredients. Hmm, I know nothing of Schneznayan tastes, but I do know a dish that caters to all tastes. That would work. Make me a satisfying salad and I will process it for you to make it more durable. Very well. Though, I don't make any guarantees about the salad being satisfying. But I will make you a salad. Huh, you know something? I can't actually remember the last time I had to get the tools for this job out of the cupboard. Uh, out of the cupboard. What you uh, last time for? Uh... I don't think I have the salad yet. Yeah, I don't. Which should I choose? Any 
Anyone? Uh, yes. Get a bonus. There we go. Here you are. How's the satisfying salad coming along? I'm ready when you are. You better not need any other dishes. This satisfying salad is not bad at all. Uh, yes, but on a scale of one to five, how satisfying is it? Because that's the most important thing. It is in the name. As discussed, here's your specialty dish. Wait, talk to Flora. Why are we talking to Flora now? Flora, I apparently need to talk to you. Welcome to Flora Whisper. Do you need anything? Do you sell any Mondstadt specialties? Ah, specialties? You're looking for a gift? Hmm, but I only sell flowers, which don't stay fresh for very long. They'll wilt very quickly. The only other thing I can think of is to make a flower bookmark. I sometimes make them as gifts for my, gifts for my friends. They are worth a lot in monetary terms, but maybe they have some sentimental value. That's really sweet of you, Flora. If you're interested, I suppose I can make one for you. But first, you must answer my question. Answer correctly, and I will make a bookmark for you. It's a very easy question. Here it goes. Is the dandelion a flower? No. No, they are not. Wrong! Actually, dandelions are flowers. Don't you know a flower when you see one? They are a weed, damn it. They are not a flower. Actually, can a weed count? Humph. Well, I'm not giving you a bookmark that easily. Not to someone who's such an ignoramus on horticulture. <laughs> hey, I'll make you a deal. If you bring me some dandelion seeds, I'll trade them for the bookmark. Damn it. Also, promise me that while you're collecting the seeds, you'll repeat this in your head. Dandelions are flowers. Dandelions are flowers. I feel like this is a trap. Price. I'm sorry, Flora, but I don't agree. Better see Barbara at the cathedral if you're in. Here's your seeds. Have you dandelion seeds? I have them here. Yep, that's them. Great. And in, re and in return, here's your bookmark. Flower bookmarks are very fragile and very easily lost. I'll box it for you. Just don't go opening it unless you have to. It's a shame you can't make bookmarks out of dandelion seeds. Yes, you cannot make a flower bookmark out of a dandelion seed. Because, once again, they're not flowers. But now I'm not sure if they are technically flowers or not. Talk to Charles. Damn it. The game is forcing me. I'm going to continue avoiding that quest out of spite. I first, ta I think I can turn in my boar meat now. Hey there, frozen to the bone. Come and warm yourself back up. I have your boar. Wow, this chilled meat looks pretty good to me. Probably not very chilled anymore since, you know, I got it a long time ago. Now I just have one more ingredient left to find. Have you heard of the Great Snow Boar King? Uh-oh. People say that it's a fierce beast dwelling deep in the mountains. And recipes say that its exquisite meat is well suited for to any method of cooking. Uh-oh. That boar kicked my ass. Traveler, would you kindly run this errand for me? Could I boldly inquire what's in it for me? Don't worry, I have some. I have set something aside for your return. Is it hash browns? Oh, damn it! Now we should talk to the kid too. Give him the bad news. Oh, I don't want to do this. How did it go? Any news from Daddy? Here's what we've discovered in the cavern in the summit. Daddy, no, 
that can't be. Daddy's a great adventurer. He'd get out of a small rough patch like this for sure. He said he found a way down the mountain in his notes, didn't he? He must have made it down safely. That's gotta be it. I suppose he made it down safely. Exactly. He must have. He might even be resting right now. Or he might have set up a new campsite at the summit and is taking a break there right now. Whatever the case, I'm sure that once he's all rested up, Daddy will come here and look for me. I'll keep waiting for him here. Thanks for helping me out, by the way. Here, these are for you. God. Oh, oh, that one. Mm. That one hurts. That one hurts a lot. Ugh. Is Daddy on top of that mountain? Oh, man. Where was the boar? It was somewhere around here. Mm, we're gonna do this, I suppose. I don't remember there being a fire. Which is problematic. Oh, the extinct boar uh, recharges. Summon the boar. Race you. Yeah. Boba, get them. Help! My dinner is attacking me. <laughs> I do love that one. Help! <laughs> My dinner is attacking me. Let's uh, warm up before we go back to there. Trying to fight bosses without heat source here is truly a pain. There he is. Ow. Let's take you out as fast as we can. We might be able to do this now. He's much lower level than, uh, relatively, than when we first tried to fight him. Yeah. Where are you? There you are. Killed the king. Assassin of kings. Oh, that's a lot of chilled meat. Nice. I can put Very these cool. Let's get out of here before we literally freeze to death. Actually, we can just straight up teleport out. So cold. This has better been worth it, Harris. Hey there, frozen to the bone. You could say that. About the great snowboard king meat you wanted. Ah, oh, you managed to get your hands on some great snowboard king meat, have you? Yeah, here you go. Well, in that case, that's all the ingredients accounted for. While I was waiting for you to get back with the ingredients, I formalized my recipe. If one thing's for certain, it's that this is Definitely a far cry from the ancient recipe I started with. So this was all for naught. But as long as the end result tastes good, I'm not concerned about how I get there. I think I'm going to name this dish Goulash. Really? You just invented Goulash, did you? 
Sounds exotic, but it's very easy to make. Why don't you try it for yourself? Yes, goulash is very tasty. Go on, give it a try. I don't think goulash requires ancient boar meat that's been frozen. After you've made it once, you'll find it easy to remember if you want to cook it, cook it again. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make it then. Who decreases the rate of share cold accumulation for all party members for 900 seconds? Yes! Oh, I wish I had this a long time ago. Glutton for goulash. Where is it? There it is. Yes, let us cook it. Wonderful. We just need to make the one, right? Aristocratic etiquette is all just for show. Just I made some goulash. Ah, oh, you finished? You got you gotta take it? Delicious. Nice one. You're a natural. Thanks for your help. And please accept these in return. I need to go cook for some other people now. Oh, one last thing. Come see me again this evening. I'll give you another batch of this food. If you're going to go on go adventuring in the mountains, you've got to make sure to eat right. Is it 1800? No, nope, not yet. All right, Harris. Give me some goulash. All right on time. It's all ready. Here you go, as promised. Do eat it while it's hot. Remember, hot food is your adventure fuel. Hm. Come and have some hot Finally. And primo gems. Nice. And a hero's wit. Very cool. Oh, five goulash. Thank you. All right. Well, we made a small dent in those quests, at least. But uh, we have a lot more to do. We'll uh, all right then. We'll turn these in. And then pick up again next time. Well, I say turn these in, but we'll claim them, rather. Very nice. We still have uh, quite a few of them. It is a good record keeping of them, though. So that's nice. I wonder if the Fatui one counts on there. Well, until next time.